Hey, yo, what is up? Uh, I have 10 artillery tips and tricks for you in 2023. Today, I have two replays. One uh, doing direct damage and the second replay doing assisted damage. Now, both achieve the same goal with a different way. Help your team win. Now, to be successful artillery player, you need to apply both strategies at the right time tip one for today is set up your artillery correctly this means your crew and your equipment first of all all your crew need to have the bia crew skills uh, your commander needs to have a mentor skill as a priority your gunner needs a snapshot skill and dead eye skill as a priority your driver needs clutch braking skill as a priority and your loader you will need the adrenaline rush and the intuition to be honest with you the loader doesn't need any much more skills but if you do need skills if you want a skill adrenaline rush will help you in case you are damaged or hurt and down to your last 10% of hit points you will reload a little bit quicker and intuition is for when you have uh, maybe you're carrying a different kind of shell and you want to switch shells you will uh, reload that different shell a little bit quicker and uh, that would be useful now for equipment uh, a rammer is non-negotiable because a rammer uh, reduces your reload time by 10 percent so a 30 second reload means you will now reload 27 seconds so rammer is non-negotiable uh, the second equipment is irm improved rotation mechanics uh, that's equipment 2.0 that's a no-brainer uh, the third equipment if your tank can use um, if your artillery can use vents you will use vents because vents will help improve a lot of skills uh, across the board or if you don't if your tank does not is an open top and does not use vents you can run a gld to reduce that um uh, reduce that aim time i also run food med kit and high octane fuel or remove speed gross winner. I do not carry a repair kit and that's because I do not plan to be hit by any other artillery if i'm discovered by some other light tank or medium tank i'm probably dead anyway a repair kit is of no use to me but i carry a med kit just in case uh, i get splash damage or uh, i get stun damage and a med kit will help uh, quite useful if i get stun damage there and uh, the last piece of setup is he shells only use he shells which is the stock shells exclusively and uh, that is because all the other shells are basically useless in uh, 2023 um the ap shells are never going to hit your target uh you know eight times nine times out of ten you're gonna miss with your ap shells and the uh premium he shells that have uh smaller splash radius but bigger damage is also not very good because you seldom uh hit you know hit close enough to make that small radius work so the best shell in 2023 is your standard ammunition which has the biggest splash radius so that is all for setting up your um your crew and your equipment correctly uh right now we are in paris and you look at me and i am targeting the m60 i am going for direct hits while their artillery is trying to counter battery me we'll talk about this in a little bit um but uh, the second tip that i have for you is be ready to shoot uh keep an eye on your map and your countdown timer your reload timer uh, this replay has a bug it's not showing you the uh, reload time of the um, of the artillery shell but um, this is very important you need to stop whatever you're doing 10 seconds before you fully reload and uh, somewhere around 10 to 13 seconds 13 seconds if you are 
driving away from where you want to shoot and you have to turn your artillery around that's when you need about 13 seconds if you are driving and moving towards your target or you are facing your targets then 10 seconds is about sufficient uh, for you to stop and aim because it takes you a long time to swing your gun over aim and uh, you know click your target so you need to have some time you need to be ready to shoot uh, by the time you are fully reload as soon as my reload timer counts down to about 13 seconds left till I'm ready to shoot, I'm already swinging my gun around and picking my targets and being ready to shoot. I want to make sure that as soon as I'm fully reloaded, I'm going to click that fire button and start sending my shells across the map. So that is tip number two. Tip number three, what you see me doing now is relocate between shots. Every time I shoot, I'm giving away my position to the enemy artillery. If they want to shoot at me, they can take uh, an educated guess to where I am. So that is why I keep myself moving. And remember, I also, I'm also not carrying a repair kit. So I do not plan on getting hit by enemy artilleries. So I always shoot and keep myself moving so that I am not an easy target for the uh, enemy artillery and um, the other tip was keeping your keeping your artillery piece in between your team if your team split up into two one team went half the team went left half the team went right you stay right in the middle now if your entire team went left go with your team keep your position protected don't be alone by yourself with no protection make sure you keep your position in between your teammates make sure you have teammates in front of you make sure you have teammates on your right make sure you have teammates on your left you are never isolated by yourself because when you have light tanks hunting you down it is going to be uh, pretty dangerous for you to be by yourself now tip number four let your team know your target and reload time how you do this by hitting the t key on where you are aiming for instance where i'm aiming now um, if i hit the t key it will show a marker to my teammates where i'm planning to shoot and then a message will appear on the chat that shows uh, how many seconds i have left to reload and this lets my team know where i'm aiming and what uh, how many more seconds I am ready to shoot. This gives them time to sp perhaps spot for you and this perhaps uh, gives them the confidence to attack uh, the target that you are shooting at because once you shoot at them, they are stunned. Um, th the enemy has more difficulty to respond to your teammates that are actively attacking them. So what I do is I rebind my T key to my mouse wheel button so when i'm looking at my target i decide to shoot there i can just click my mouse wheel button and immediately it, the show, it shows a marker on the map and a message that lets my team know that uh this is where i'm shooting now this is a, this is the result of the direct fire towards the enemy uh i ended the game there a little bit sooner because that was my last shot of the game my team decided to cap out and we won the game and that was my last shot of damage so 3.8k damage only got me a class 3. now in this game uh, this one's on highway and what am i doing here i am clearing out the bushes uh, you saw me in the first map in paris i did not knock down any trees that is because paris is a very small map there are only certain locations where the artillery can go um, everybody knows where you are and you saw them trying to kill me uh, that is why i did not knock down the trees because when you knock down the trees uh, they know you are there so you don't knock down the trees now on a big map like this one where there are a lot of fruit a lot of trees you see me knock down basically all the trees so just in case if the enemy artillery is scouting out my position he cannot 
really guess where I am because I didn't knock down one tree. I knocked down all the trees. So it's pretty difficult for any kind of uh, reconnaissance if, if the enemy was trying to find out where I am. It's very difficult for him to guess where my location is and very difficult for him to hit me. So uh, that was, uh, we were out on tip number four. Tip number five is control right mouse button on the minimap to quickly snap to different locations. You see me right click on the minimap to immediately zoom in to that position. I don't need to uh, scroll around the map to see where I am. I just right click on the mini on on the mini map, uh, control right click on the mini map to snap into the where I want to aim. That is tip number five. Tip number six: pre aim popular locate locations uh, where I think they are going to be. Blind shot those positions so you do not waste shells. You want to make sure that you are firing your gun as soon as you are loaded every time um, as soon as you are loaded you are ready to shoot ready to fire so make sure you already picked out all the positions now you saw me on this uh, game uh, highway i was shooting the open field why because my team was advancing on the open field so i decided to help them there to advance and to win once the field was basically won taken over now i am focusing on doing the helping out my team in the city and i choose the targets with the most tanks in order to stun them and and uh you know temporarily uh you know make them stunned and my team can attack them and they are in the enemy is going to be uh reloading very slowly while they are stunned they are going to be limited in their mobility and my team will have a uh, better uh, better advantage here attacking them while the enemy is stunned that is why i'm attacking the field just now and now i'm attacking the city so that was uh, tip number five and six tip number seven use your left and right a and d keys to swing your gun faster to your target if you just wait for your gun to swing around it's going to be very slow but if you move your hull together with your gun you're going to aim a little bit quicker now balance your priorities this is tip number it, which is what I was explaining to you just now sometimes I'm attacking the city sometimes I'm attacking the field depends on whether I want to do damage or I want to support the team in my first game I was doing damage for myself and I only got a class 3 in this game I am supporting my team more than I'm doing damage for myself but I'm going to get an ace tanker for this game even though you look at my damage output right now it's only 1.5k damage very little so balance your priorities tip number nine anticipate when your target is going to shoot and so that you know when he is going to be stationary this requires practice and a knowledge of shell velocity and trajectory now shell velocity obviously um, it's going to be very slow because artillery has very slow firing shells so you need to anticipate like you see me here i was anticipating him reversing into my shell because i thought he was going to be spooked by our team and then he was going to reverse and that is why i was shooting behind him but i missed him but still got a little bit of damage now what about trajectory artillery like a cgc shoots high in the air and lands down while an artillery like an object 261 has a very low trajectory trajectory means it's difficult to shoot tanks that are on an upslope so if you are in an object 261 and shooting an upslope tank you're gonna miss that target all the time but if you are in a cgc you can shoot those tanks a little bit easier and that is tip number nine you need to understand trajectory and shell velocity on your um, artillery piece tip number 10 i already explained this to you earlier um, move forward with your team especially in open maps i didn't move forward in this game so much because i was in I was already in a good position to help my team in the field and help my team in the city at the same time. But on certain occasions, I'm going to move forward with my team. This is because when you move forward, you are going to have a shorter flight 
time your shell will land quicker now this game you look at me i got an ace tanker even though i did only 1700 1800 damage and that is because my stun damage was 4600 assisted damage when i stun the enemy that is when i got most of my assisted damage so hope you found some useful information here 10 tips that will help you improve very quickly in artillery in 2023 i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you on the next one bye bye